Hello everyone, welcome to my other video. Today I am going to show you how to implement Google OAuth system in React Native. So let's get started. So before starting, make sure that you have already installed React Native CLI in your system. To check that, you can write React Native space double dash version. And then simply write npx react dash native space init for initializing space your app name. So I'm giving my app name as Google Auth Native and press enter and it will take some time to install all the dependency of React Native in your system. So after the project initialization got finished, you have to write cd space your app name and enter into that directory. Now simply write npm space install and write this library because I'm going to use this library. To implement my Google OAuth system. So wait till all the packages are downloaded into your project and then simply write code space dot to open VS code. Now go inside app.js file and delete everything from here because I am going to use one classful component here. You can use RNCE snippet tool for including React Native classful component in your project. Now I'm going to import also the image to show the profile image actually. Now you have to import Google sign in and Google sign in button from the library that you have installed just right now. All right. Now I'm going to predefine two states that is user Google info and making it as blank object. And also, I need one flag variable. I'm naming it as loaded and making it as false. Now, you need to configure that Google sign in. For that, just write Google sign in dot configure and pass one object here. And this object will accept the web uh, client ID and you have to uh, pass it as string and one online is available or not and I'm making it as true. Now you need to just provide this web client ID and for this I'm showing you how you can get this ID. Now switch to your browser and open this URL that is console.cloud.google.com. Now here you need to do one thing that is you need to create one new project. You can see that uh, there are a lot of projects that are created by me earlier. And here I'm going to create a new project. I'm uh, creating a new project and just to give a name for it. And see, your project is being built right here. And wait for it and just click on it. Okay, now uh, your project is selected. Now, what I have to do, you have to open this tab from the left section and go inside API and open this OAuth consent screen. Now, uh, when this screen is loaded, just click on this external option and click on this button. And then again, it will ask for uh, something just like uh, this option. Just keep it uh, as internal or whatever is there. And you just need to provide your application name here. So I'm just writing something just like this. Okay. So now if you just scroll it to the down, you can see, you can configure your with your logo and finally click on save. Okay. So now what you have to do is to enter inside this credential section. So that is the main section you have to worry about. So just go inside that uh, section and you will get one button as create credential and select that OAuth client ID. Now, uh, just keep it on your mind that you have to select web client part because you are going to use React Native in your project. So just choose that, and inside this author uh, and inside this uh, authorized JavaScript engine and the callback URLs that they are asking to provide, you can skip this part. So I'm just uh, showing you how you can also implement if you really want to integrate it with your web application. So you can just uh, write something like this that is uh, localhost and give your port 
and in case you are using localhost in your project all right finally you uh, just click on this uh, button and you are good to go so your client id will be generated and this is the main id you have to copy it and paste it inside your project so this is the web client id just copy that uh, so copy that and open your text editor so inside this web client id just paste that all right now i am switching to the app view part so inside the app screen i'm going to first display one google sign in button so for this i'm just calling this google sign in button but i have imported it from that library so here it will take some props uh, that is uh, one place and i'm going to declare that method later in this video so just call this dot uh, sign in now if you just want to uh, customize this google sign in button you can do it by passing some props uh, just like uh, some style uh, size and color so you can do for your own i'm just uh, simply just designing some one simple uh, blue button for this and then i'm simply writing this dot state and checking that loaded is true or false and if that loaded is true only then i'm going to show my profile details on my screen and if the loaded is not true then i'm going to show uh, one text like it is not signed in so just uh, if this uh, dot state dot loaded is satisfied then just show one text that is this uh, dot state dot user info for google and then call dot user and uh, then dot name and for email just write dot email for showing your profile picture just call that uh, image uh, component and uh, pass these props of for styling actually and then simply uh, provide the content of that image that is you, are, you have to give that url so i'm simply writing these dot state dot that user info google dot user dot photo because inside this photo i'm going to uh, take the photo from google so if the loaded state is false then i'm going to show something like this that is not signed in all right now you have to uh, define this sign in function that you have declared inside on press uh, of google sign in button so just define that function so uh, write sign in equals to async as i haven't uh, bind it inside my constructor so i have to use one arrow function and then inside it just write avid google sign in dot has play service uh, and then write const uh, user info equals to avid dot uh, avid google sign in dot sign in and it will do the uh, primary thing for you and then just simply set the state of user google info and load it so set the state of google uh, user google info as user info and load it as true so i have to just uh, wrap it inside my try block so just cut it and put it inside this try block and also i have to define one catch block and uh, here just lock the catch whatever error i will get all right so i think that's all about from app.js file now what you want to do is to configure your gradle files so if you just switch to android uh, directory and then you can get one file that is settings.gradle and you need to write one line here or add one line here just write include and then put a quotation and then write colon react dash native dash google sign in uh, google dash sign in and then simply also you need to write your app to for uh, your actually you the keyword that is app so for this just put a comma and give a colon again and write app now save it now open build.gradle file and here you need to add one line that is google play services auth version so write that and then assign it the version of 17.0.0 .0. .0. 
alight and you have to also include this line inside your dependencies so that's it all about settings in gradle so now you need to run it or test it on your device so connect your device with your desktop or laptop and then open your command prompt or terminal whatever you use and then simply write npx space react dash native space uh, run dash android all right now it will take some time to build that application and install it on your device so let's see in my device how it works so you can see everything is working perfectly here so if i just click on this sign in with google button it will ask to choose uh, one account of google and here you can see so it is showing my uh, name email and photo so that's it for today i hope you have enjoyed this video please click on the subscribe and like button if you like this video thank you